everyone and welcome back to another video. If you are new to my channel and this is your first time seeing my face, hello! So happy to have you here. My name is Jordan and I'm a 23 year old content creator and professional figure skater. As you guys have already seen by the title, hence why you clicked on today's video, we are going to be talking all about some of my current favorites and things I have been obsessing over all throughout February. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like February just absolutely flew by. January seemed like the longest month ever, and then I blinked and February had passed. So definitely went by really, really fast, and I used the month to kind of experiment with new products and try out some new things, and there are a ton of things I've been loving, so I wanted to just sit down and share some of the things I've been loving. Hopefully it gives you some recommendations or just inspiration of things that you might want to try out. I know for me personally, my shopping habits rely heavily on YouTube recommendations and TikTok recommendations. Like if I see it online and someone raves about it, that definitely persuades me to go try it out. So with all of that being said, if you are not already following me on my social media and you'd like to keep up with me on a daily basis, be sure to check those out. I will have all those links down below. And with all of that being said, let's hop into today's video. Starting off strong, I want to talk about my favorite perfume that I have been wearing almost every single day. I'm obsessed with it. It smells so good and everyone should know about this. So the scent I've been loving is Florental Almond from Dossier. This is just what the bottle looks like. And if you are unfamiliar with Dossier, it is an online fragrance company. So they have both women's and men's scents. They smell amazing, guys, and what I love so much about their company is that all their fragrances are inspired by higher-end luxury perfumes, but without breaking the bank. So their perfumes range from $29 to $39, but they smell just as good, if not better, than those luxury perfumes. So I'm the absolute worst at describing perfume scents, so I'm just going to read what this is made of. So it has notes of almond, peach, Oris, orange blossom, tube rose, tonka bean, vanilla, and cocoa. This scent in particular is inspired by the Caroline Herrera Good Girl perfume, and if you have smelled that before, you know that is like incredible. If you like that kind of scent, this is definitely for you. I love it so much, and I literally get complimented on what I'm wearing every time I wear this. This is the box that it comes in. It also comes with a little tester sample size. So if you do decide you don't like the scent and it's really not for you, you can send it back. No charge and full refund, which is obviously a great incentive into trying a new perfume. If you guys are interested in trying out this scent or any other scent from Dossier, I will actually have a coupon code below for you guys and the link to the website. So I do have two lipstick recommendations that I've been loving lately. I am wearing them today, so if you do like a nude matte look, I got you covered. I am a huge fan of liquid lipstick because there's nothing worse than wearing lipstick out and having to check every five minutes if it's on your teeth, you know? I personally really love liquid lipstick and I really enjoy a matte finish. So I found a new liquid lipstick fave and I'm so excited about it. So this is the matte liquid lipstick from Makeup Revolution and this is in the shade brunch so we love it even more um but as you can see it is more of a pinky nude than it is a brown nude in my opinion this is the perfect nude color you can wear this with any outfit and it would look good and it gives you just enough color on your lips without being too much so you can tell that you're wearing lip product but it's not over the top I have also been loving a lip liner to go along with it. It matches absolutely perfectly. So this is the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in the shade 3 Nude. It's just called Nude. So this is what it looks like. I want to say this was like $3.99 or $4.99, something like that. This is a dynamic duo, these two together absolutely love. They're both extremely affordable. I just don't like to spend a lot of money on a lip product. I would rather spend more money on a higher end foundation or concealer. Both of these products are wonderful. They're very affordable and you're also not compromising the quality 
Um, I can wear this out and about, eat, drink, and it stays right in place. So I want to move on now to a few fashion favorites because there are a ton of things I have been loving lately, but I did narrow it down to three items. So, the first thing that I have been especially loving is this nude or like tan colored flannel. This is from Zaffel. I have been wearing it so, so much this past month. I actually did feature this and a bunch of other products in a Zaffel haul. If you're interested, I'll have it linked down below. But I just think this is the perfect flannel for winter time. It is a bit of a more oversized fit, which I really enjoy for flannels. I don't like them to be too fitted. And I mean, you can't go wrong with neutrals. They're never going to go out of style. So I've just been really loving this. And you can also wear this a bunch of different ways. So depending on how you want to style it, you can, you know, make it look however you want. It's also a really great piece for layering as well. And yeah, I've been looking to kind of upgrade my flannel collection because I got rid of a ton and I just didn't have that many that were very like trendy. So I thought this one was the perfect piece. My next fashion favorite is something that's a bit out of my comfort zone, but I think that's why I've been loving them so much. And it's just these like burgundy colored faux leather pants. Like, how freaking cool are these, first and foremost? I got these from Zara for like $7.90 or maybe $9.90. I can't remember exactly. They were the only ones left and they were in my size. So I took that as a sign to buy them. I just wore these like last week or the week before to dinner with a sweater and some heels and it was really, really cute. But these are so versatile because you can make so many looks out of this. You could wear it with a sweater. You could wear it with a graphic tee. You could do a leather on leather moment. Like the opportunities are endless. And I really feel like this is a statement piece that you need to have in your closet because it's just going to elevate your style that much more. These are like a high-waisted fit and they are like a skinny pant. They do have like little zippers on the end, but I prefer just to keep them zipped closed. I've been absolutely loving those and I've already been a fan of leather lately. Like I do have leather in my closet, but nothing like those. I do have a pair of shoes I wanna share. So these are my black Doc Martens. I know they're pretty basic. I have the patent leather ones and they are the kid size so they do have like a zipper on the inside which is actually so useful. I didn't realize that other Doc Martens don't have that. But yeah, I really love these. I know I'm a bit of a hypocrite because I hated these shoes a couple years ago, but I have come around to really, really enjoy them. I think they're so edgy. These have also been extremely useful to me because it is the dead of winter and I don't own snow boots or winter boots in general so these have kind of been acting as my winter boots I really love these not only are they very practical but they are stylish as well I now want to dive into some jewelry faves because as you may or may not know I am obsessed with jewelry especially gold jewelry so I just want to talk about the one I'm wearing right now I love this so much. It is a gold Italian horn. I did buy it on Etsy and it's kind of a funny story because I have been wanting to buy an Italian horn necklace for quite some time now, but I actually bought one for my brother for Christmas from this Etsy shop and they sent me an additional little Italian horn with it, which was so nice. Like that was so kind of them. And like I said, I wanted to buy myself one anyway. So now I am matching with my brother. Granted his has like a rope chain and it's a little bit bigger, but I love that I have my own and I prefer daintier necklaces anyway, so this is the perfect size for me. I will have the Etsy shop linked down below if you are interested. They do offer other things as well. And then the other piece of jewelry I want to talk about is another necklace. So this is a necklace that I received from my grandma for Christmas. Basically, it's just a star necklace, so it has a bunch of little tiny stars throughout the chain. It is gold and it's like the cutest, most dainty necklace ever. It also has a very important meaning behind it because I'm very close with my grandma and she told me she bought this necklace for me because I am her star, which is like 
just the cutest thing. So every time I wear this, I think of my grandma and it's just a very special item that I have. Absolutely love my grandma. If you know her from any of my vlogs, she is an icon. Um, and yeah, this is just a really, really heartfelt gift. Next order of business is hair care. And I didn't even really acknowledge it at the beginning of this video, but yes, I do have different hair than I did before. I used to be like bleach blonde and now I'm like this kind of toned back, almost dirty blonde, light brown kind of situation. But I am making a conscious effort to take better care of my hair. And something I have been using for forever, like years now, is the wet brush. So that is my next favorite. Um, I just swapped out my old one. I had like a hot pink one. It's not good to brush your hair wet, but with this brush, I'm telling you, it's so gentle on your head and it's not going to break your hair follicles. So this really, really helps with, you know, keeping your hair nice and healthy. Obviously this is intended for wet hair, but you can use it on your dry hair as well. This is the only brush that I swear by. Oddly enough, I found mine at Kohl's, which was kind of random, but I have also seen them at like TJ Maxx and Marshalls as well. My other hair favorite doesn't really have anything to do with hair care, but they are trendy and cute and functional. So I have been loving these little claw, <clears throat> claw clips. They're all the rave right now. These were extremely trendy back in like the 90s or 2000s, I wanna say. I don't remember the exact date, so don't come at me. As we all know, trends come back in style. And oh my gosh, guys, I'm so happy these came back because not only are they cute, they're very functional as well. Majority of the time, I don't do anything with my hair. Half the time, I just throw my hair up and I really don't like my hair up in a ponytail. I just don't think I look cute. But when you add a claw clip, you look trendy, adorable, and it gets your hair out of your face. So these ones are really nice as well because it does have like two layers of the claws, if you can see. Um, and these are also matte as well. You guys know, like I said before, I love the look of a matte finish. I just found these at my local Marshalls, but I've seen so many great assortment packs on Amazon, so I will link my favorite one below. Although these may go out of style again, I don't think that I will ever stop using them because they're so great. My next favorite might be kind of random, but it needs to be talked about because I've mentioned it multiple times already, but I have been obsessed with my Mr. Coffee iced coffee maker. So this is it right here. It's very, very small and lightweight, and basically it makes a single serve iced coffees. And if you know anything about me, you know I'm an iced coffee drinker, ride or die, like give me iced or give me death pretty much. So when I saw this in Target, I literally did not hesitate half a second. I grabbed it off the shelf and I purchased it. This has been my favorite investment this entire month. I've been using this coffee maker every single day. I just feel like this in the long run is going to save you a lot of money and it tastes so good. You can use any coffee grounds you want and it also comes with a little plastic tumbler as well. So definitely recommend it. And um, if they don't have it at your local Target, you could buy it online. I do have a few stickers I want to show you guys. So my friend Maddie on YouTube actually has her own Etsy shop and she creates her own stickers and sells them. They're so cute and so aesthetic. If you're looking for like really cute stickers to decorate your phone case or your laptop or you just you just like stickers. Um, so all the stickers I have are like this peach color. They're so cute. They're definitely right up my alley. So this first one is just a little hand-drawn peach. This one says, make today a good day. We love the positivity. There's a little mini rainbow one. And then this last one just says, reminder, choose happiness. So it's like a little notification. They're all so cute and she's so sweet. She's so hardworking and her channel is freaking amazing as well. So um, definitely check her out. I don't know about you, but I love switching on my phone case every so often. I think it's just a fun little thing to do. So the one that I have had on my phone for the last couple weeks is just this little like mushroom kind of case. It's very minimalistic and it's like a tan and white color. As you can see, very, very simple, but so cute and like totally my vibe. 
I absolutely just love how sleek it is and just I don't know I love the minimalistic look and I mean clearly I like light pink this matches my purse it matches my vibe and I love it. The last few things I wanted to talk about are not physical items, but they're still worth noting. So the app I have been obsessed with the past month or so is Clubhouse. So if you're unfamiliar with Clubhouse, it is the newest like social media platform and it's an audio based platform so basically you join different chats about specific topics and you just talk to other creators or just other people on the app it's so unbelievably informative i have already learned so much about youtube insights and it's a really nice way to connect with other people so you don't have that face-to-face -face interaction but it's definitely more of a casual setting because it's basically like you're on a phone call with tons of people I believe it's still in its beta version, so it's currently invite only, but pretty soon they will be opening it up to the general public, if you will. So if you are offered an invite or if it opens up to the public, you should definitely hop on it ASAP. And my last favorite is my favorite YouTuber at the moment. I just wanted to share her channel because she's such a ray of light. She's so cute. She's like little sunshine and her channel deserves more recognition than it has. So her name is Beth. She creates lifestyle content. Right now she is in the process of moving to Australia from Canada. So she actually is Australian and was living in Canada for the past couple years. Um, but now she is moving back. So she's vlogging her whole experience with all of that and she snowboards. She's the reason why I want to learn how to snowboard. But yeah, she's just the cutest. Her content is incredible. Her editing is amazing and she's all around just a lovely person. So go check out her channel and tell her that I sent you if you do because you will not regret it. But that just about wraps up today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully it gave you some inspiration for things you want to add to your cart. Let me know if you guys enjoy these like favorites videos because I can make them a more regular thing on my channel or do one every single month. As always, any questions you have or video recommendations, just drop them below if you're interested. Thank you so much for all your love and support on my channel. Thank you again for watching. If you're not already subscribed and you've made it to the end of this video, you might as well subscribe now. So. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.